The evolution of the world economy has increased the competitiveness between organizations and companies, forcing them to improve their response time to the market, innovate and implement continuous improvements in search of greater quantity and quality of production. Because of the need for mass production, the use of rotating machines or some type of machine that assists in the production has become a constant and essential practice. These machines or equipments generally produce some type of mechanical vibrations due to your functionality. The mechanical vibrations generated by machines and equipments can be quantified by means of vibration meters and can be used to assist in industry maintenance programs or even to check the stress caused by using machine vibration on operators. Vibration meters are already available on the market, however, they are very expensive and generally available in a closed form, where the user has few possibilities of configuration. As a result, the measurement tool does not always fit the user needs. The implementation of a new system for verbatim measurement aims to offer an alternative tool of low cost, with an adequate precision and that allows customization regarding the number of sensors to be used, facilitates the adaptation of the tool to the most diverse applications. The proposed system is composed by six accelerometers of three axes, being possible to measure acceleration in X, Y, and Z axes. Each sensor can be activated or deactivated according to the needs of each application. The sensors are read and configured by a microcontroller, which processes the linear acceleration information provided by the accelerometers and the corresponding time information provided by a real-time clock model and send them to a final device. On the computer, we use a Python interface to process and save the acceleration and time data. The implemented system is configurable in terms of available sensors and includes a delicate microcontroller. This allows an easy adaption to the most varied applications. The communication with the computer is made through Bluetooth to facilitate the connection. The data transmission and dispensing the use of wires provide a greater freedom for the use of the tool. The acceleration data is collected through six accelerometers, which provide linear acceleration of the X, Y, and Z axis. Each of the six sensors can be activated or deactivated independently according to the application using switches. The configurable microcontroller Pumpion implemented at the FPGA is also responsible for transmitting the acceleration data and time to the computer. The communication between the sensors and the Pumpion is done through the I2C communication protocol. The communication between the Pumpio and the Bluetooth module is via the RS232 communication protocol. Finally, the communication with the computer is done through the Bluetooth protocol. Pumpio is a fully configurable microcontroller developed by our group at Federal University of Pampa. It consists of a general purpose microcontroller with 60 byte RISC architecture described in System Verilog. The circuit description is free open source. Because it is configurable, it's possible to scale all the internal modules according to the application's need, preventing the waste of area and power consumption while increasing the performance. As the description of the circuit is free and all pumping operators are performed between registers, we connect the communication interfaces and the activation keys of the sensors directly to the register bank facilitating the implementation of control protocols. Pumpion is available in monocycle, multi-cycle, pipeline and superscale versions. For the prototype system implemented, we used the monocycle version. An interface for reading and processing data by the computer was implemented in Python. With this interface, it's possible to visualize the acceleration data of the tree axis plotted in real time and the number of active sensors. It's also possible to make some settings, such as selecting the axis to plot and saving the time and acceleration information read. The system developing has two main applications. Monitoring of vibration in rotating electrical machines for predictive maintenance and calculation of the vibration dose received by machine or equipment operators. One of the predictive maintenance techniques is vibration monitoring. Every machine has a certain level of vibration associated with a spectral signature. The spectral signature 
consists of the waveform resulting from the vibration of the machine. This waveform indicates some failures in electrical machines. To automate the vibration analysis procedure, an application was developed to automatically detect errors from the machine. A fast Fourier transform is applied to the transform the capturate vibrometer data in time domain to the frequency domain, getting the spectral signature of the equipment. After that, data samples from defective and well functioning machines are received for training purpose in the X-Boost classification algorithm for the automatic prediction. With the training algorithm, the application can classify or estimate the probability of electrical machine defects in real time. For this prototype, we estimate the probability from the machine behavior pattern at three classes intended to validate the system work correct, work with imbalance, work with friction. This is the motor work correctly. As we can see, the great probability is of the correct functionality, because we can infer that the algorithm is working correctly. Now, the machine is working with the inducing balancing problem. As we can see, probability of imbalance is not too close to 100%. This occurs because the current balance type differs from the balance of the training model. Even so, the algorithm is working well, because the likelihood of imbalance is the biggest probability. Let's see the machine working with an induced friction problem. As we can see, the algorithm is working correctly too, with the max probability in friction. The effects of vibration on the human body depend on some variables, only is where the vibration is being applied which can be only on the hands or arms, or on the whole body. Another variable is the time of exposure to acceleration, and the frequency of oscillations. Being exposed to high doses of vibration for a large period of time generates bad consequences, such as disease and traumas. When the whole body is exposed, injury to the cervical spine may occur. However, when only the hands and arms are exposed to such vibration, gangrene can occur in the extremities of the hands due to the lack of oxygenation. It is also possible to develop neurological and musculoskeletal diseases. The use of the application requires to hold the sensor of the machine or the human body. When the machine is operating, the system captures the vibration that is to the human body. After that, the algorithm calculates the root mean square acceleration in x, y, and zx and then integrates it along the time. We are using the Brazilian standard NHO09 to calculate the vibration dose. This standard is based on ISO 2631 and ISO 8041. To calculate the action level and exposure limit of the worker on the vibration in the hands and arms, it is necessary to obtain the acceleration resulting from a standard exposure, which is given in meters per second squared. Then we compare the values obtained with the standard values to know the exposure level. The implementing vibration measurement system can be customized, allowing the configuration of the number of sensors. This allows an adaptation for numerous applications. In addition, it has a high cost benefit, since it is used both in predictive machine maintenance and as a vibration exposure meter for machine operators working with high mechanical vibrations. The communication between the developer tool and the computer without the use of wires by Bluetooth protocol provides the user with greater freedom of movement and the ease of system integration, allowing its use in various application scenarios.